Westerners are being told that they're selfish and immoral for taking international vacations during a pandemic. They're being forced to jump through dozens of hoops to secure a holiday while facing stern lectures about being vectors for new variants of COVID. They're being forced to take multiple expensive tests while complying with onerous quarantine orders upon their return. But billionaires like Larry Page don't have to worry about that. The Google co-founder has segregated himself from the peasants by purchasing private islands in Fiji. He slipped into the country via an expensive program for the elite called Blue Lane, while normal tourists were simultaneously banned from entering. While Page enjoys sumptuous views of the South Pacific on his luxury private island as he's attended to by 30 staff waiting on him hand and foot. Ordinary people who have lost their jobs, businesses and homes due to the lockdown aren't even allowed to travel there. None of those pesky, noisy tourists are around to bother Page and his billionaire buddies as they lavish themselves in lockdown-free, opulent tranquility. Us and them. In Adelaide, Australia, four babies died after being denied life-saving heart surgery due to coronavirus travel restrictions. They were forced to make the longer journey to Sydney after the authorities banned transfers to Melbourne. But billionaires like Larry Page don't need to worry about things like that. When attempting to secure medical treatment for his 12-year-old son, Page was given a special waiver to enter New Zealand. This at a time when non-residents were completely banned from entering the country. This at a time when even Kiwis living abroad separated from their families couldn't get back through the border. Us and them. The billionaire owner of Atlantic magazine published an article saying that the unvaccinated should be put on a no-fly list. The article called on the unvaxxed to, quote, face scorn and for the federal government to weaponize TSA security to treat them like terrorists and prevent them from boarding a plane. But as the sixth wealthiest person in the world, Lauren Powell Jobs didn't need to worry about that. She couldn't care less about being jabbed or not as a condition of flying, because she owns two luxury private jets and can avoid airport security altogether. Us and them. Lockdowns caused 150 million people globally to be pushed into extreme poverty. Wealth inequality exploded during the worst economic downturn in a century. Countless millions of ordinary people lost their jobs and saw their businesses go under. But billionaires didn't need to worry about that. They're doing just fine. According to an Oxfam report, they exploited lockdown mandates to further entrench a rigged economy. They swallowed up and obliterated their smaller competitors. Nowhere was this more evident than with Amazon. An owner, Jeff Bezos, who saw his personal wealth grow by $86 billion as Amazon shares soared. The combined wealth of the world's 10 most richest men rose by $540 billion during the first year of the pandemic. Despite lockdowns causing financial ruin for many in society, for the elite, it was like they hit the jackpot. And yet uber-rich Davos man says your future hopes of economic prosperity need to take a backseat to climate lockdowns. and them. Americans who refuse to wear masks in airports or on planes are routinely kicked off flights. Entire families have been booted because their babies weren't masked up. One man was even kicked off a Southwest Airlines flight because he didn't wear his mask in between eating bites of food. But John Kerry doesn't need to worry about anything like that. He can swan around Boston Logan International Airport without wearing a face covering. He can even go through security without wearing a mask. He can sink into his first class seat and enjoy a mask-free journey. Us and them. According to Democratic Congresswoman Donna Howard, Americans must submit to, quote, universal mask wearing. Parents are now being told to wear masks inside their own homes. But one American, who apparently will be completely exempt from universal mask wearing, is Democratic Congresswoman Donna Howard. She doesn't need to worry about that. Howard was one of 60 Democrats who boarded a jet to Washington DC to skip a vote. Howard, along with five of her colleagues, later tested positive for COVID-19. A photo of Howard and her colleagues on board the flight doesn't appear to indicate much enthusiasm for universal mask wearing. Us and them. Let's not forget that masks are such an important life-saving necessity for us 
Maybe not for them, unless that important life-saving necessity is briefly slapping one on your face so you can virtue signal for a staged photo op. Housing is a human right on three. One, two, three. Housing, Housing is a human right. Woo! Thanks, guys. Everybody Woo! say whiskey. Whiskey. Hey. Us and them. DC residents were told by Mayor Muriel Bowser that a citywide mask mandate would go back into effect at 5am on Saturday. But Muriel Bowser didn't need to worry about that because she timed the mask mandate to go into effect right after her birthday party had finished on Friday night. People who attended the reopening of the Anthem Entertainment venue in DC were ordered to mask up after they paid to watch a performance by Dave Chappelle. But neither Chappelle or any of the other DC royalty who attended Bowser's birthday bash hours before, had to worry about wearing a face covering. After the Saturday mandate kicked in, ordinary folks in DC were ordered to mask up once again. But Muriel Bowser didn't need to worry about that. She was filmed at an indoor wedding, not wearing a mask. She planned to officiate this wedding and attend, and then also put in the mask mandate for Saturday morning at 5 a.m. She knew that by Saturday evening, by 9 p.m., that she was gonna violate her own order, which either means she's a moron or she's a liar who knows that these indoor mask mates, these indoor mask mandates don't matter. Us and them. Brits were told that they should put personal relationships on hold. They were told to forget about their wedding plans. They were told to suffer the indignity of virtual funerals. Many of them never saw their grandparents alive again. And who ordered them to do this? Professor Neil Ferguson and Health Secretary Matt Hancock. But both Ferguson and Hancock didn't need to worry about halting their relationships while warning that COVID would kill half a million Brits, while the population was placed under a draconian lockdown. Ferguson and his married mistress were travelling back and forth across London the entire time to shag each other senseless. Matt Hancock was banging his mistress at a time when Brits were told they shouldn't even be shaking hands with each other. Us and them. People throughout the West are being told that they must take the vaccine if they wish to engage in basic lifestyle activities. They'll be banned from bars, restaurants, cinemas, shopping centres, educational facilities and public transport if they don't take the vaccine passport. It needs to be hard for people to remain unvaccinated. Told not to see their grandchildren as a new wave of autumn lockdowns looms. Told not to have conversations with their friends and neighbors, even if they're wearing a mask. Even if you've got a mask, don't start up a conversation. Told to social distance and mask up again even if they've had the vaccine. Told they're ignorant and selfish for attending parties, baseball games and concerts. Told that they're personally to blame for creating super spreader events. But the global elite? No, you don't need to worry about that. Barack Obama's hosting a giant birthday bash for his 60th, complete with nearly 500 globalist guests and 200 staff. Yes, I couldn't go to That's Granny's right. 90th birthday, but it's perfectly fine uh, for Barack Obama to have 500 people because our rulers are, are, are so much better than us. The, the last 18 months has actually clarified this. Us and them. If this virus is as deadly and dangerous as they tell us, why don't they behave like it? Why are they exempt from all the indignities, hardships and restrictions that they impose on us? Are you starting to think that maybe this is about more than a pandemic? <laughs> To get exclusive content, early access, behind the scenes stuff, and to personally interact with me, please sign up for my community at pauljosephwatson.locals.com. Link in description, and thank you for your generous support.